Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the boxing bout for the undisputed light heavyweight championship between Arthur Betterbeev versus Dimitri Bivol. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence on um, Dimitri Bivol. And um, I'm typically going to favor the boxer in fights. I'm, I'm typically going to favor the technician. And I think history between great fighters or good fighters or however you want to measure them typically favors the technical fighter. Because that smasher, that crusher, they might be able to smash some good fighters and whatnot. And sometimes some great fighters. But when it's like the, the who typically wins the era, you know, the, the winner of that era typically is going to favor the technician. Like Ali versus Frey, not Ali versus, Ali versus Foreman, um, Ward versus Kovalev, and so on and so on. What was another one? Leonard versus Duran. And it's, it's been plenty. I, I can't name all the right now off the top of my head, but I'm not going to go through that. I could be talking for, you know, days because boxing has a long history. But, um, yes, I'm going to meet you, B-Ball. He's also younger. He's also taller. You know, he's 33 versus like a 39-year-old um, better be But better be a, you know, power is not something like his style is not a style that's going to give it. That style, you know, um, the style that typically suffers the most from age is like the Roy Jones style because you're so you're using so much speed and athleticism and whatnot. And when that, that slows down, but power don't really slow down. Better be is not no great technician by no means. He's not no great explosive athlete. He has good heavy hands. But uh, yeah. He's a, got good conditioning and heavy hands. Not the greatest boxing at all. I wouldn't even say he's the most technical fighter at all. I feel like, even when you look at, the, like, you know, let me let me say Duran. Duran is a much more technical, heavy handed fighter. Um, what's the name? Uh, Triple G, much more technical. Uh, so and so. All these guys that throughout history that were just much more technical. I just feel like, better be what well, he had going for him. He has good power. He hasn't fought the greatest competition that also is going for him. Despite men 39, his resume is very weak. He has these belts, but who has he beat? Yard, nah. Callum, whatever his name, nah. Um, Alexander Govakin, that's a pretty decent win. But again, like, you know, when you're 39, typically you have at least like five really standout ones. He maybe got one or two decent ones. And this is real, like, I would say this is his true first real big win if he does win here. b you know, kind of about in the same category. Kind of, you know, about two good wins. You know, well, one great win in Canelo and one pretty decent win. But, um, yeah, but off the, I'm off topic. But I, I'm going um, Dimitri Bivol. Again, he's long, younger by like six years, taller. You know, I've, I've not been super impressed by um, better BF skills. He has good power. But another thing, when, when these um, heavy-handed fighters going with these other legends or these other future legend prospects and great fighters, you know, in the past, they, they could walk over these people. They, like, those people fold just to their power. But those guys, like, you know, the Ali against Foreman, he fought the heaviest, probably the heaviest hitter of all time. And what great fighters do, they take the power and they stay in there. And they um find a way to win. Because it comes out, war with Kovalev. He took Kovalev, some Kovalev's best shot, and he started walking Kovalev down and beat him both times over the case. Really, the second time, y'all can't argue that. The first time, y'all could say controversy. I could agree a bit, but second time, no doubt. And so and so This, again, like, these great fighters, especially younger, long, longer, you know, and also a tough fighter mentally as well. They're not going to fold to that power. And obviously you get caught in that and your toughness could be taken out of the equation. You get hit on the button. And that's why my confidence low. It's not like crazy. Oh, it was a lot of confidence. B-ball going to win. This is a very tough matchup, especially considering the power and, you know, that that the ultimate um, it factor. Then that power, would that power be enough? Would that pace be enough? And I think um, also like um, anyone better be has I feel like B-ball by far has the best footwork of anyone he ever fought. Um, right in his prime, longer, very good defense, moved very well, and an underrated chin. People talk about, oh, he got hurt by Joe Smith Jr. He got hit like with a punch. You know, you know, he wasn't in defensive mode. Like he was, he's heard the bell ring and the punch got hit at that time. Like he already, you know, kind of shut himself down a bit. And he ate the punch. He didn't fall off his feet. You know, it took him like, and he was already back to himself, sat down, and was went back to work. Whereas better be of the one we think is this tank. He's not really no tank. There's been some other guys that have had heavy power and had much better than like Triple G, Duran, and so-and-so, Foreman, and a bunch of guys. What's that other that um, Samoan guy? Yeah, but the guys that have had a chance. I, don't feel like, I feel like Better Beaver has one of the weaker chins of a guy that's supposed to be this big tank because he's been dropped by like two or three times by a mediocre, like legit tomato cans, you know, Planet Fitness um, personal trainers and... um. Ice cream salesman, he got dropped like three times. We talk trying to talk about his power and what's named Shin, but he's been the one who's been dropped. Bebo ain't been dropped to my knowledge. And I've seen him hurt. Um, I've seen 
Um, better be notably hurt in several fights. I seen him drop like two to three times, and I've seen him hurt in like probably two to three more fights. So, yeah, I think Bevo has a thirtieth sham, but definitely better be has the better power. But to sum it up, to get to the point, I'm in all over the place. I think Bevo's youth, his tenacity, his heart of a great fighter. That's neither of them have fought too many great fighters. I really, I would say only only one of them have fought a truly great fighter because only you know. Bevo, I mean, better BF has fought Uzik in the Amphibs, but what happened in that fight? He lost like two, three times to him. I think both times were 13-7. So when he fought a great fighter, he lost. He never won no Olympic gold medal. I don't think he won a world gold medal. And it's a reason. He's not a technical fighter. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. I just think um the footwork of Bevo going to be a problem. I think his defense is going to be a problem. I think his jab is going to be a problem. And he's going to be able to outbox Better Bevo. I think Better Bevo is going to be in this one. I think he's going to land good shots. But I think Bevo is going to be to dig deep and hurt him back. And I think Bevo, I think Bevo is going to surprise him. I think Bevo is going to drop him twice. I think probably once in the earlier rounds, probably like this, in the first six. Then I think once or twice in the later stages of the fight when um, Better Bevo is getting frustrated, getting outboxed, and his sloppy boxing is not working like he typically does when he fights those mostly Kansas fights. And he's going to try to overcommit and get countered, probably get set down, a couple flash knockdowns. And again, I see a competitive fight. Maybe um, better be if him like one knockdown in there. Maybe. But I think b is going to be the more technical fighter throughout the rounds. He's going to be the push throughout the rounds, not fade off like a lot of other people that um, better be up for. And um, yeah, he's going to be able to put up a good lead in a competitive fight. But ultimately, the, the technician, the more technical fighter, the younger fighter is going to be it with the better footwork, better jab better defense is going to be to prevail and get his hand raised in a decision victory. So in this one, I have Dimitri Bivol via decision. 